Hello everyone and welcome back to my Let's Play for Amnesia. Um, that clicking sound that was in the previous two videos, I believe, was my fan near my computer. I don't believe it was a hardware issue or anything, and uh, I think I may have alleviated that, alleviated that a little bit, but we'll find out for sure. If you still hear it, well, I'm sorry. I realize there's not much I can do about it. I mean, I could turn all the fans off in my room, but then I'd be sweating, and I don't want to do that, so... Okay. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, this is already creeping me out, and I haven't even done anything yet. What's with that? There's, like, red stuff on the ground there. Oh! Oh, turn. Like, Alexander, what? is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sector. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Brennenberg. Can I play now? Here, someone, someone's in trouble. I must go save them. And they say that hero could save us. Uh, I ain't leaving yet. You kidding? I haven't finished exploring this area, so whoever's in trouble, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to wait. And it's probably a trick anyway. It's probably no one's in trouble. Just some, uh, trick from whatever... What is that? I think that's like rose petals or something. Let me go check over here. Um. Yeah, there was nothing over there. And the stairs broke here. I uh, wonder why. And here, here a pillar fell, and part of the roof collapsed. It's pretty cool, light shining down like that. I like it. I'm cool, it's daytime outside. Let's see if I can get a glimpse of what's out there. Of course not. Of course I can. Yeah, I obviously I need something to pry it open, correct? Maybe like a crowbar? Did they have crowbars back in the day? Uh, you see, I don't know how long ago this game took place. Like, this could be the 1500s for all I know. You got tinder boxes everywhere. They might not even made crowbars yet. I don't even know when crowbars were made, but I'll shut up now. So, archives that way. And another barricaded door down here. So, what's left to check? Whoa. Just barely spotted that. So, what's left to check out? We got archives. I've been there, but that's obviously a uh, higher level of the archives. But let's go check downstairs now and see what's over there. Because I'm curious. I better start learning how to run, because I'm taking... When things get creepy, I'll slow down. You know what I mean? Cool. Picked up oil for my lantern and picked up a tinderbox. Nice. How do I use items again? Um... How do I take out the lantern? See, that's what I forgot. I need to find out real quick. I need to know for if I ever need it real quick. Let's see here. Throw and direct. All right, lantern is F. And that's the only thing I can just use like that? Wow, guess so. Lantern is F. There's nothing behind these chairs, of course not. Books and bugs. Those are hissing cockroaches. Listen, you hear that? That's that that be some hissing cockroaches. You ever heard of the Madagascar hissing cockroach? Well, you can get them as a pet at a pet store. Did you know that? You can. Ah! Ew! It's 
boogers. It's red boogers. I don't want to have anything to do with that. I'll stay away from the red boogers. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I might be able to kill the cockroaches. Die, cockroaches. Let me try to... Oh, man. Almost. Alright, so what's left? We can go back to the archives, or we can go down to this laboratory. I want to go up to the archives first, since I've been there. I want to see what this second floor of the archives is about. So let's go over there. Tabularium. Oh, that means archives, I guess. Let's go. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought, and struck his victim with a rock. That's, that's awful. And children can be pretty awful, can't they? they? Gotta be some of the cruelest people in the world as children. Hey, look at the textures on the walls are so different. Oh, you know what? I don't think I have been here. What's that noise? Oh, that's probably another cockroach. Hello, anybody home? Hey, guess not. Am I in darkness? Great. So I'm gonna get start getting watery eyes. Oh, cool. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander, Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years and my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brandenburg is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break this seal. Wilhelm House of Gerich, whatever that means. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to do that. Because my sanity was going up, and I don't I don't like that. Um excuse me. Thank you. Ready. Just like in Penumbra, everyone leaves lights around. That's all they ever leave around, basically. It's just stuff to light stuff with. You know what I mean? So that's it. That's all that's in there. Nothing else. I'm trying to be very thorough. Anything behind the bookcase of course then. There's light in here. There's some bugs, I think, making sounds over there. Alright, I'm not creeped out yet. Wouldn't it be funny if something just jumped out of the chimney right there? And I freaked out and I screamed. Cool. Alright. Man, give me something. I, what, what's the point of coming in here if there's nothing here? Oh. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. Probably not a good idea. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. It better led to something very interesting. Is that all that's in here? I guess so. Alright, let's, let's continue. Creepy. I'm being creeped out. Catalog y. Catalogs, okay, whatever. Do you hear that? Guys, did you hear that? Um. 
It sounded like it was coming from that room. <laughs> Alright, yeah, let's close that door. Please. I thought I heard, like, weird whispering sounds. Some sort of... It sounded like a creature. I don't know what that was. Get out of my way. 17th of May, 1839. My hand trembles as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. Creepy. The men were superstitious and fearful. I bet. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. That was probably not a good idea. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. Hmm. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it. And as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Cool. So this is, that was Dan from Daniel's diary, which means it's my character, but he's got amnesia. I don't remember a thing, so he's learning all this for the first time about himself, which is kind of interesting. So it's like I'm in... It's like Daniel's investigating himself. There's that sound again. I don't know what that was. There's, this, uh, there's been cobwebs in every single... Uh, Fireplace. Oh, nice painting. Oh, wow, that's that's really good. <laughs> it's funny that I am I am appreciating a painting. Whoa, appreciating a painting in a video game. So it's not really a painting. It's kind of funny. <laughs> wow, look how beautiful. Um, yeah, I heard that. Alright, there's just some rocks there. I guess I'm alright. I don't want to make too much noise. Whatever that thing was, maybe if I make noise, it'll come after me. And I don't want that. I ain't going in there yet. Forget that. Because that's where I heard that thing. Why does it have to be dark? Man, let me go the other way. From that room. It'll probably lead me to the same place. I'd rather start from a lit area. Light? Ah! Sanity's draining. Calm down, Daniel. Calm down. It's alright. It's alright. You are okay. Where's the... There we go. What? Huh. <laughs> um... Now there's music. Great. Great. Just great. <laughs> 